The reason why I included it is because one of my students wrote it. Well, we're live now. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you this. We're live. Uh, hey, everybody, come on in. So, got no tracks. Little trio here today. Last night's <laughs> concert went so well. I was in Victoria, Texas, and thank the Lord I didn't sound like this. So thank you for your prayers. Thank you for all that you've done for me, and, and thank you for coming in and joining us today. I had no idea these people were coming. They just dropped by. They didn't bring food or nothing. <laughs> now, where were you, Landon, this morning? We were at New Work Family Worship Center in Liberty, Texas. All right, and the pastor and his wife. Pastor and his wife are here. And how was that food? Oh, the food was <laughs> off the chart. Was oh, it? my word. I gained 10 pounds today, I'm sure. <laughs> no less. Oh, that's great. Well, I, let's see, make sure this is working. Look, come on in. Look at them all coming in. Yolanda Ramsey, Anthony, uh, Naomi, Joanne, come on in here. 462 of you keep coming on in. Get you notified and get yourself in here. We're going to have a great afternoon with the Lanny Wolf Trio. I heard y'all when I was 17 at the Jones Hall. You were probably 18. I, no more than that. Yeah. No more than that. <laughs> and Marita, you were the lead singer for all these years, right? Yes, sir. And we're sharing a mic, y'all, because I don't have that many mics. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it over to Lanny Wolf. Lanny, take over. Okay. I love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people what a sight just to see all the happy faces praising God in heavenly places what a thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people now it can be just anywhere two or three are gathered there that the spirit of the lord will be there too there's no fellowship so sweet there's no thrill that can compete with the thrill i feel whenever god's children meet i love the thrill that i feel when i get together with God's wonderful people love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people what a sight just to see all the happy faces praising God in heavenly places what a thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people Uh, Mark, give me just a little bit more piano, if you would, okay. and no extra charge. Sure. So, uh, we had this Silver Eagle bus that always was breaking down. Uh, so we were stopping at Stuckey's and uh, to get gas and uh, pecans. So, <laughs> so on my way up to check out, I, I saw this wire rack. Some of you remember this. Some of you remember Stuckey's and the wire rack. So it had all these wood plaques in the wire rack. And so I'm spinning it around and I noticed this one. It simply said, funny how I keep falling in love with you over and over again. Well, you know, the songwriter in me said, stop, ho, oh, buy that wood plaque. And I did. I went to the counter, paid my dollar. And so I've gotten my money back off of that mark many, many, many times. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. He gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by. Oh, what a love between my Lord and I. Just keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. When I first fell in love with Jesus, I gave him all my heart. And I thought I couldn't love him more than I did right at the start. But now I look back over the mountains and the valleys where we've been. And 
it makes me know I love you so much more than I did then And I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again I keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again He gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by Just keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again. There's a hand that I hold on to yes. through each valley and each trial. There's a shoulder that I lean upon as I face another mile. And there's a love that I can depend on. It's fresh and new each day. And with love my heart is overflowing That is why I say I keep falling in love with him Over and over and over and over again I keep falling in love with him Over and over and over and over again He gets sweeter and sweeter as the days go by Oh, what a love between my Lord and just keep falling in love with him over and over and over and over again over and over and over and over again over and over and over and over again so this next song we're going to sing uh uh, the Benson Company. You need some water, anybody? I'm you fine. I'll be right back. Get some water. Can you believe in our age we can sit here in Houston, Texas and reach 917 people right now watching us from their homes all over the world and from right here on Just Whenever, because I go live just whenever I feel like it, <laughs> the Lanny Wolf Trio is in my home today and I'm so honored. So tell us, uh, uh, what was the, I want to ask you, what is the first song you wrote? The first song I wrote was a song called God is Wonderful, wrote it at 15. Yeah. It was just simplistic. It was kind of Southern gospel. God is wonderful. You it's like, uh, you know that God is wonderful. You know that God. Oh, I can't even do it right here. It was just that Southern Gospel Quartet thing like, yeah. excuse me, I don't know what I'm I thought I was going to be an architect. Oh, okay? you did? Yeah. So I started out at High State University, uh, architectural engineering. And hmm. what's kind of ironic about this is so I wrote this at 15. And 27 years later, God gave me a song called More Than Wonderful. Oh. Not God is Wonderful, More Than Wonderful. So I can just see God laughing like <laughs> this little 15-year-old punk kid is going to try to write a song. And, it, you know, the rhyme was just typical. It, you expected what's coming, you know. Right. You know that God, God is wonderful. You know that God, God is <laughs> Okay, that's all I'm going to sing about that. Never been recorded and will never be recorded. Okay, <laughs> but we let it loose on the internet. Oh, there it but, is. But the, the perfect what part of that. What a horrible demo we let <laughs> loose on the internet. Is you said yes. You well, said yes to that first song. I did say yes. And it yeah. changed yeah. everything. Yes, yeah. yes. So uh, this song, uh, the Benson Company, uh, Ron Huff, you may remember that name. Oh, yeah. Great orchestrators yeah. passed on now. So they decided to do this track for Doug Oldham. Remember him? Okay. So they said, uh, Ron, do an orchestration for this greater is he. That's what the name of the song was. Okay. And uh, so Doug, it went, it went too much for Doug. Doug couldn't hold on to it. You know, had this great teddy bear by the fireside. <laughs> so this, this was way too fast. So they took it from Doug and gave it to Downings, and the rest is history. So the Downings make it a popular, of course, uh, on radio, whatever that used to be. And uh, 
So then uh, Bob McKenzie went to Oral Roberts and said, Oral Roberts, you need to do this song. And Oral Roberts said, what? Bob McKenzie says, you need to do this song. Oral Roberts said, okay. Bob McKenzie just had that about him. So this was the official closing song for the Oral Roberts telecast for six years. You understand what that means. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Greater is he. <laughs> and he's laughing because he knows exactly what that means. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Satan's like a roaring lion roaming to and fro. Seeking whom he may devour, the Bible tells me so. Many souls have been his prey to fall in some weak hour. But God has promised us today his overcoming power. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Now on the day of Pentecost, a rushing mighty wind blew into the upper room and baptized all of them with a power greater than any earthly foe. And I'm so glad I've got it too. I'm going to let the whole world know. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And we never do the God is great. We don't do that part. Greater the Downings. Well, it was Ron Huff's arrangement. Oh, got it. But the Downings did it. So every time we do that second verse, I can't help but think of uh, Ann Downing. Yeah. On the day of Pentecost, a uh, Ann, okay, I just can't sing it like you. I like the southern draw you put into it. Okay, let's get on to the next song. Hello. She's still around. Oh, she, I love Ann. She goes live too, y'all. Go to Ann Downing on Facebook, and she goes live from her piano singing the old hymns that we do on here when I have a voice. So uh, tell, me an, tell me another one. Let's see. Uh, now, you didn't write Because He Lives. But... <laughs> <laughs> but you would have had you thought of it. That's oh, what I always say. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> and here's what's funny about that. Yeah. So Bill says, he says, you know, people keep thinking that I wrote, I keep falling in love with him. Right. And he says, I don't have the, I just don't tell him any different. <laughs> I said, don't worry about it. People think I wrote because he lives, and I don't tell him either. Hello. Uh, really? <laughs> it's mutual. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, give, me an, give us another one. Okay. I love this, y'all, because this is not ABC, NBC, or CBS. We got all day to sit here and wear Lanny Wolf Trio plum out. So give me another one. Uh, 30,000 miles over Cincinnati, God okay. gave this to me. Cherish that beautiful name. Cherish that wonderful name. Cherish that matchless name. That name is Jesus. Cherish that beautiful name. Cherish that wonderful name. Cherish that matchless name. That name is Jesus. And it's so beautiful, the name of Jesus. It's so beautiful, that precious name. If you ask in Jesus' name, everything is yours just to claim. And I love that precious 
precious name. And at the sound of that name, every demon has to flee. For to that name, all power is given to set the helpless captive free. Every sin, disease, and sickness must bow down to that name and forevermore surrender. For all of time I shall proclaim it so. so beautiful that precious name if you ask in Jesus name anything is yours just to claim and I love that precious name more than ever Lord, I love you more than ever before. Lord, I need you more than ever before. I've got to tell you I love you now more than ever before. I'm going to love him. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. I'm going to love him. I'm going to love him all of my life. I'm going to love him. I'm going to love him. I'm going to love him all of I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him all of my life. I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him. All of my life. It was 9.30 on a Sunday morning, <clears throat> Jackson, Mississippi, First Pentecostal Church, and I'm sitting there waiting for Sunday school to start, and God just dropped this. Jesus be the Lord of all. Jesus be the Lord of all. Jesus I surrender, Jesus, I surrender all, Jesus, I surrender all, Jesus, I surrender all, the kingdoms of my heart, for if you're not Lord, old people out here on the road god love us we're out here these feet are so tired of carrying the gospel we've been all over and our voices are give out but this little darling right here is one of my favorite singers of all time sitting right in this chair right here marita wolf and Lori said mine too you tell him, hey, introduce who's with us. Everybody knows Philip. He's on our show all the time. 
But he's an old Pentecostal boy. Went to JCM. Yeah. Studied under me. That's right. We know Lori Carruthers, okay? Uh, so when Rita and Dave, uh, they were in the trio from about 72 to about 79, okay? So uh, when they left the trio, Lori stepped in and she and Gail, okay? And so then when the trio reconvened about 2005, Dave was with us. Dave passed away just several years ago. And when Dave passed away, that was just, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I thought, whoa, Dave has always been there with us. And uh, it's like, yes, it, I, I don't know how to describe the void I felt from the, tri from the trio standpoint. And so then God just worked all of this out that the same person that stepped in Dave's shoes the first time in about, what, 79, was now going to step in his shoes again. And so Lori's been with us, uh, and just uh, her spirit identifies. So it's just a, a joy and a pleasure to have, have uh, Lori with us. And, of course, on the keyboard behind her is her husband, Mark. Mark also went to JCM. Uh, th they've been educators, worship pastors, uh, songwriters. They've been all kind of things, and they've been very faithful to music ministry over the years. That's what I appreciate about people is because we live in, in a generation where, you know, and I'll try to make this a small frame. Uh, you can be a worship pastor if you are 20, have a guitar and skinny jeans, you know. So what happens is when you become 40 and you can't do a guitar and now you can't fit in skinny jeans, they want to do away with you and trade you in for 220s, okay? So when I see people like Mark and Lori who have been music ministers for years, over the years, they're very faithful, and God has honored that, you know. And so it's a, it's a joy to have all, all of them with us. It's a joy to have all of y'all here today. And uh, the Church in Liberty, thank y'all for coming and bringing them out here. What's the name of the church? New work. New work. Family Worship Center. Family Worship Center. If you live in Liberty, you can check them out. Just go. Lanny. Land, uh, uh, Lanny Gardner's got... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I only know a Lanny and a Landy. That's I know. It. I know. And actually, I knew Landy better than you. I was around him a lot. I so know. I'm so sorry, Lanny Wolf. God love you. This is the CD, y'all. This is... 80 favorite Lanny Wolf songs in 80 minutes. And how do you do it in 80 minutes? Okay, you know that's a real trick. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, first of all, it was a real trick to pick out the 80 favorites. Okay. Yeah. So, I picked them out, and then uh, basically I could only pretty much take a chorus from each song. Okay. Yeah. So, I did about eight indexes. So, in each index is about 10 songs. Yeah. And so they segue from one course. And it's a wonderful project. It was for his 80th birthday. Okay. Now, he, Did he, you have to do that, Marita? <laughs> she said it was for his 80th birthday. Yeah, but, just, but that hair still looks good. <laughs> hey, so I want to know, I want to know, uh, can you do a medley of your, uh, also, do you have a medley worked up where you could sing for us or not? Yeah, we just went through all that. We, we've got, uh, we'll just drag a few together. Yeah, yeah. do that. Okay. Because <laughs> it'll bring back a memory of, you know, because we can't, we could sit here all day and not get to all of them. But if oh, you I know. Have a medley, so we can. Okay, before we get to that, it'll be a sure. little challenge, okay? Sure. Uh, so uh, it was Columbia, Mississippi. Hello, 1976. Uh, church dedication, okay? And paint smell. Uh, the, all the politicians were there, all the church, you know how that works. <clears throat> and so I'm waiting for them to call on the trio. And while I'm waiting, it's like God just dropped this into my spirit. And so I scribbled down the words on the church bulletin for that day. And uh, I, I felt like, whoa, uh, I, heard, I heard in my mind, I heard a progression that I hadn't been used to playing. I could, it's like, what is that? It was like when I was a kid, and they would do this modulation. And I kept wondering when I was a kid, what is that? I finally figured out what that was. So anyway, I'm sitting there. It's like, God, wait, what is that progression? Uh, so anyway, I got up. I taught it to Marita and Dave, the congregation, the musicians. I just kind of taught everybody at one time. So that was 1976. 
86, 96, 2006, 16. So let's say a good 45 years later. This has been around the world. <clears throat> I had a, uh, a friend. You remember Striper, that group? Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. So he was accompanying Striper uh, in the Asian community. So they were at Pastor Cho's church, run a million, okay? 11 services of over 100,000 each service. So he's saying, I'm in the balcony, and I'm, I'm, they're singing this song you wrote. And he said, I'm hearing it in all these languages. Whoa. And he said, it just felt like heaven to me. That's another song, okay? Uh, so this has been sung at church dedications, baby dedications, we know that. So it's simply, surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel his mighty power and his grace. I can hear the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Uh, let's do a verse, and Lord, you take the first one and read the second one. In the midst of his children, the Lord said he would be. Come on, say. It doesn't take very many. It can be just two or three. And I feel that same sweet spirit that I felt of times before. Sure. That I've been with the Lord. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel his mighty power and his grace. I can hear the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. There's a holy hush around us right even here as God's glory fills this place. I've touched the hem of his garment I can almost see his face, and my heart is overflowing, hallelujah, with the fullness of his joy. I know without a doubt that I have been with the Lord for sure. see where some folks are saying it was sung at their parents' funeral. You sang at my Thank father's you, funeral, my mother's Thank funeral. Uh, Carol Cimbala was saying that when her father was passing, they were all gathered around the bed and they held hands and sang, surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel his mighty power and his grace i can hear the brush of angels wings i see glory on each face Hallelujah. surely the presence of the lord is in this place and i don't know what you might need today but you could just have a place right there where you are. It doesn't matter where you are, your home, your car, 
wherever you are and just make a channel to God. Yes. Call on God and say, I want to feel your presence and you'll be right there. He's not far away. He's as close as the mention of his name, as someone wrote. But if you'll just say, surely the presence of the Lord is in this place, right here, right here, and ask him to come into your heart. You can do this any time of the day, wherever you are, in the store, walking down the sidewalk. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that he is so personal, and he's so easy to touch. People make it so hard to get to know the Lord. But if you'll just make that one little effort and say, Jesus, I want to feel you. I want to feel your presence right now. Then surely the presence of the Lord will be in that place. I can, I can feel, feel his mighty power and his grace. I can hear the rush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. to insert this right Go here. Ahead. I'm sorry. Now some people Go ahead would and be Marita. <laughs> okay. Some people might say, oh, that's just a conspiracy. You can't feel God's presence. There isn't any God. And those, they don't know what they're talking about. Oh, but we know what we're talking about. God doesn't exist. Oh, sure. You know what you're talking about. No, you need to let the world know. It's not a conspiracy. We've been having all kinds of things blamed on conspiracies but they're not they're the truth we're telling facts God is alive he is and alive. he's our Savior and he gives you hope and he gives healing and he gives protection and he gives you his love he is love hallelujah, hallelujah. I just had to say that I'm sorry Praise you, Marita. <laughs> <laughs> oh somebody tune in and get to him <laughs> okay I feel good I feel good Just to know I've been redeemed Makes me feel good Well, I feel good I feel good Just to know I've been redeemed Makes me feel good Oh, how well do I remember All the days I spent in sin With no thought of doing All the things I should But then the blessed Savior found me And he gently took me in Makes me want to shout hallelujah, I feel good. Hallelujah, well, I feel good. Sing it with me. I feel us. good, I feel good. Just to know I've been redeemed makes me feel good. Oh, I feel good. I feel good. Just to know I've been redeemed makes me feel good. When my travel days are over and I reach that happy place everything up there will be just like it should and when I step inside the city and I see my Jesus face I'm gonna shout hallelujah I feel good well I feel good I feel good yes I do just to know I've been redeemed makes me feel good well I feel good I feel good just to know I've been redeemed makes me feel good. Yes, just to know I've been redeemed makes me feel good. Oh, just to know I've been redeemed makes me feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Take that, Spear family. <laughs> Okay, so if Dave Peterson were here in this room with us right now, I remember asking him the question, Dave, uh, what's your favorite Lanny Will song? This is the song that Dave said was his favorite. I heard of a land that me too. It's wondrously fair. They say that its splendor is far beyond compare. But in that place that's cold heaven, I 
I'm longing Hallelujah. to be for where Jesus is. It will be heaven for me. Heaven for me. Heaven for me. Jesus will be what makes it heaven for me. All its beauty and wonders I'm longing to see. But Jesus will be what makes it heaven for me. Now if walls. Now if the walls there were jasper all of the streets were not gold if every mansion they would crumble and if folks still grew old still still i'd see everything i've been longing Hallelujah. to see for if jesus, jesus is there it will be heaven for me makes it heaven for me all its beauty and wonders i'm longing to see but jesus will be what makes it heaven for me jesus will be what makes it heaven for me Jesus will be what makes it heaven for me, heaven for me. That is my favorite Lanny Wolf song. No doubt. I sing it all the time. Oh, in my heart and around the house and sometimes in concert. Sometimes. We recorded it. I just love it. Um, cause you think about that when you get to heaven, it'd be fun to see streets of gold. It'd be nice to see mama, but I'm making a beeline for Jesus. I'm telling you, I, I'm so excited cause you know, it says eyes have not seen. Yeah. Ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men what God has prepared for those who love Him. I mean, His standards are so low, all you got to do is love Him. And what's not to love? What is not to love about Him? You know? Oh, I'm excited. I love y'all being here. What of all this, more than wonderful, is probably the song that picked you up put you on fence post didn't it mm -hmm. you know um, Sandy Patty and Larnell mm -hmm. recorded it and countless choirs and can you sing that one we can try it can you try it yeah, yeah. just so we can sing along at home everybody sure. knows it okay so yeah, Sandy we're not singing. Sandy Patty and Larnell Harris <laughs> and Larnell Harris get a grip they're not here we are here right. yeah. let's try this key. this audience yeah. loves y'all and they'll love yeah. this if he's more wonderful than my mind can conceive, he's more wonderful than my heart can believe. He goes beyond my highest hopes and fondest dreams. He's everything. My soul ever longed for everything he's promised and so much more more than amazing more than marvelous more than miraculous could ever be he's more than wonderful that's what Jesus is to me 
Amen. Thank the Lord for uh, what they did one? for us. I'm gonna be gone. Gonna be gone in the twinkling of an eye. I'm gonna be gone. Gonna be gone. I won't, won't have time, time to say goodbye. I'm gonna be gone. Gonna be gone. It could be while I'm singing this song. I'm gonna be gone, and it won't be long. I'm gonna be gone. Well, this old world's not getting better. Every day it's getting worse. So much fighting and confusion going on on here on earth. But I don't let it bother me, cause I'm not here to stay. I know my Lord is coming soon, and I'll be caught away. Gonna be gone, gonna be gone, in the twinkling of an eye. I'm gonna be gone, gonna be gone. I won't have time to say goodbye. I'm gonna be gone, gonna be gone. It could be while I'm singing this song. I'm gonna be gone, and it won't be long. I'm gonna be gone, gonna be gone. Now it could be. Just any morning, it could be at night or noon. We don't know just when he's coming, but we know he's coming soon. I can say with calm assurance, this whole world is not my home. One of these days you're gonna look for me. Praise God, I'm gonna be gone. Gonna be gone. Gonna be gone. In the twinkling of the night, I'm gonna be gone. Be gone. Won't have time to say goodbye. I'm gonna be gone. gonna be gone. Could be while I'm singing this song. I'm gonna be gone, and it won't be long. I'm gonna be gone. I just, darling, you, I saw you throat gave out on you on that one. <laughs> Her but voice me, was almost gonna be gone we're too. We're all gonna be. We're, we're doing the best we can, y'all. But we had planned. <laughs> actually, you know, we planned this for quite a while. And then I got sick, and then Marita's got sick, but that don't stop us. We'll throw up all over the computer screen and still keep going. Last night I had to sing with a voice not much better than this, and the Lord blessed it. He really did. If you show up, he'll do his part. You know it? Okay, sing something else. This is one of my favorite uh, songs that God has given me, okay? Um... So, as a teenager, I, I grew up in the city, Columbus, Ohio. My grandmother lived in, in Lauraville, Ohio, country, okay? Mm -hmm. So, each summer, I would get to spend two weeks at Grandma Edwards' house. Just an old, old house. So, I would sleep in a bedroom upstairs, and I would see this plaque on the wall that simply said, Only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. So, I mean, I saw that every summer as I was a teenager. And uh, so I got away from there, and X number of years later, the seed that was planted when I was visiting my grandmother Edwards, okay, watered, and it became a song, okay? So what happens is I wrote this song, and it was so just like God. The first time I sang this song was at my grandmother Edwards' funeral, okay? <coughs> and it simply says... Okay, I'm going to try to sing the first verse, okay? okay? It matters so little how much you may own The places you've been or the people that you've known For it all comes to nothing when placed at his feet It's nothing to Jesus, just memories to keep Now my favorite lines of all the songs God has given me is this third verse. The days pass so swiftly, the months come and go, the years melt away like new fallen snow.
So give to Jesus all your days. It's the only life that pays when you recall you have but one life. So, uh, so that was the good news was that I sang it the first time at my grandmother's funeral. Okay. The bad news was I don't know how this happened. The fun the funeral was over. I was talking to people, and I got left at the church. Okay. This is not like a wedding or anything. So I had to thumb a ride to the cemetery. Oh, you're kidding. No, I'm not kidding. I had to thumb a ride to the cemetery to bury my grandmother. Okay, so, so yeah. Get your mouse back. That's good. Someone asked, someone asked. I wonder, uh, uh, someone asked, uh, Denise Harris wants to know, have you written stuff lately, too? Oh, absolutely. Because you don't, a, a real writer always writes. Oh, I always write. Yeah. I've got a stack of songs that are in progress. Yeah. You know? and so one, one of the uh, newest songs that we, I don't know if we can sing it. Maybe I'll just say the words, okay? Uh, uh, you're in a place, it's called... You're in God's hands. You're in a place you've never found yourself before, and you're not sure just what tomorrow has in store. But where two or three are gathered, God has promised to be there. So now in faith believing, we lift you up in prayer. And you are in our prayers. We've touched the throne of grace for you. Your Father cares. I know that he will see you through. You can be sure the great I am will make a way just trust his plan. You're in our prayers, but best of all, you're in God's hands. Amen. Sometimes you wonder if your falling tears are cried in vain, but God counts them all and with compassion feels your pain. Acquainted with grief and sorrow, he knows how much you can bear. He's laid you on our heart, so now we lift you up in prayer. You know, oh my word, it's just, I, I don't, it, let's just try the chorus. Uh, we weren't planning on seeing this. Uh, uh, we, we may stop this. Uh, you're, uh, you're in our prayers. We've touched the throne of grace for you. Your Father cares. He's brought He's promised he, he would see you through. You can be sure the great I am will make a way. Just trust his plan. You're in our prayers. But, but best of all, you're in God's, God's hands. hands. So that, of course, that was unrehearsed, okay? <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, one of my favorite songs that God's given me is a song that a lady from Washington State called our office. Her name was Loretta. She said, you know, I'm on Social Security. Uh, she was probably in her late 70s. She said, you know, uh, can I get that CD that has a brand new touch on it? I said, yes, you know, we can send it to you. She says, my oldest son was 45. Mm. He was in a tree cutting limbs and he fell out of the tree and was killed. Oh. She said, I, I just, I was devastated. But so she was calling in about like March and she said just in January that same year, she says, my youngest son, he had a, a work related accident and he was killed. She says, I am so empty. I'm so devastated. She says, there are some days when I don't know what to do. But she says, I wrote down the lyrics to a brand new touch. And she said, I put them on the refrigerator door. And she says, if I can go there in the morning and read those lyrics, I feel like I can make it through the days. Lord, you know I need a brand new touch. My strength from yesterday is gone. But if you'll give me, Lord, another touch, I'll have the strength to carry on. Lord, you know how weak I really am. Even better than myself. But with your help, I know I really can. Make it through the darkest night. Everything's gonna 
be all right. Lord, you know I need a brand new touch. A brand new touch. My strength from yesterday is gone. But if you'll give me, Lord, another touch, I'll have the strength to carry on. If you'll touch me, Lord, I'll have the strength to carry on. Won't you touch me, Lord? Give me the strength to carry on. I see a lot of folks are saying that they attended Jackson College of Ministry. You see all that? Yeah. yeah. So all you folks that attended Jackson College of Ministry, just you, you text, text in and let us know who you are. Now, uh, one of my favorite songs that I think probably one of the most meaningful songs that God's given me uh, was birthed at Jackson College of Ministries. Okay. Yes. Uh, I, I was giving uh, a sermon on a midweek service. So all you people that went to Bible college, you understand how this works. Midweek service, you have to attend unless you're working. Yeah. So, okay, we've got to be there. We've got to be there. we got to be there. Praise God. Hello. So I'm, I'm, I was asked to do the sermon that night. So at Jackson College of Ministries, all you people that went to Jackson College of Ministries, you understand that the cafeteria was right below the chapel. That was oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wrong school. Wrong school. Hello. 26 <laughs> years, three schools. Gateway College of Evangelism. Thank you very much. Okay. Jackson College of Ministries was the music conference. Thank you. Uh, so this was at Gateway College of Evangelism, St. Louis. Okay. So the aroma of the hamburgers would seep up through the cracks, you know. And so, so I'm preaching my guts out. Yeah, yeah you know that is. And so I got to the end, and I thought, oh, you know. Just come up, rededicate, reconsecrate your life and all that kind of thing. Well, they came to the altar, and it was like, now I lay me down to sleep by, you know. It was just like a patty cake prayer. They were gone. They were gone. So any preacher understands this, that when your congregation didn't get what you thought you were giving your guts for, and they didn't get it. Okay, so I was devastated. I don't know, uh, maybe just feeling sorry, because somehow I thought the sermon was trying to be more effective than that i went to they had a grand uh, grand piano nine foot yeah. nine. i went over under the grand piano and i'm laying there probably feeling sorry for myself more than anything else but i'm laying there and god gave me this song for whatever it takes oh, goodness. to draw closer to you lord Thank that's you. over you now, don't know how many times i wish he hadn't given you that song that is but a, he did that's a hard one to yeah. sing Oh, I remember Damaris, you know, New York, Brooklyn Tabernacle. She said, I want to sing the song, but I can't yet. Right. So many people say, I can't, I can't do that. Right. Uh, you know, Melody, Firestone, mm -hmm. Shelton. She says, I just can't sing that verse. Right. I get it. I get it. Here's what I want you out there to understand. Rob Morgan, good to see you. Uh, what I want you to understand is, okay, in my selfish way, if they would have come and had a victory march or been there for like, 10 minutes even. I said, yeah, thank you. But because they didn't, this song was born. So my message to this whole situation is, if they had got my sermon, they wouldn't have got your sermon. the world would never have gotten my song. Yeah. Yeah. So God knows what he's doing. There's a voice calling me from an old rugged tree. And it whispers, draw closer to me. Leave this world far behind. There are new heights to climb and a new place in me. Draw closer to you, Lord. That's what I'll be willing to do. And whatever it takes to be more like you, that's what I'll be willing to do. 
take my houses and lands. Take my houses and lands. Change my dreams and my plans. For I'm placing my whole life in your hand. And if you call me today to a land far away. Some of you may remember the three little eight-year-old boys that were killed West Memphis, uh, allegedly by some teenagers that were involved in witchcraft, okay? So the father of one of those eight-year-old boys at the funeral leans over the casket and saying, take the dearest things to me, if that's how it must be, to draw me closer, to thee. This is the verse that many people can't sing. Let the disappointments come, lonely days without the sun, if through sorrow more like you I'll become. Hallelujah. For whatever it takes to draw closer to that's what I'll be willing to do. And whatever it takes to be more like you, that's what I'll be willing to do. I'll trade sunshine. don't know the year you wrote it but I was a teenager I'm not trying to make you sound old or anything because you're not but I sang this song as a teenager whatever it takes and I would stand up in my little church in Beloit Wisconsin and would sing whatever it takes but now that I'm 61 and I sing these songs again there is just a deepness that comes with it that you've lived it. Those songs have journeyed with me through all these years. They've journeyed with me. And it becomes a different feeling for when I sing now. The, the people in the audience probably thought, bless her heart. <laughs> She's singing whatever it takes. You know, I'd be 14 years old. What does she know, about, does she know life? about life? And and But I sang it because I was singing from my perspective. And and when you journey with some of these songs, Lanny, I wanna thank you yeah, yeah. for saying yes to that 15 year old song because they've, they've ministered and they've blessed and I don't even think you have a clue how precious they are. I, I, I thank you. What a, what a wonderful day this has been, y'all. I hope you had a good church service this morning. I was sick, so I stayed home and watched on the internet. That's, I love this life we're living. That if you're sick, you can still go to church. You don't have to skip it. And I'm glad you tuned in. If you want to have the Lanny Wolf Trio at your church, contact Paradigm Music, music at, at Comcast.net. 
The address is on the screen and also their telephone number. Or you can reach them at LannyWolf.com. Get their products. Sing these songs. Don't let these songs die. Mark, yes, sir. We go, yes. I want us all to pray for folks that are out there yes. that need uh, something from God. Okay? Yes. Some of you need healing. Some of you need financial blessing. Some of you need a rejuvenation in your spiritual life. Some of you need relationship healing. Yes. Whatever you need. Okay, yes. right now, the Bible says where two or three are gathered together. Yes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six in here, and you are seven. Okay, so we got seven. Perfect number. We're going to join our hearts, and I want you to like touch the computer, touch the TV, touch whatever as a point of contact between where you are and where we are. And we're going to pray for you as we sing. Someone is praying for you. Someone is praying for you. So when it seems you're all alone and your heart would break in two, remember someone is praying. Believe God to answer your prayer. Let's go. Someone is praying for you. Someone is praying for you. So when it seems you're all alone and your heart will break in two, remember someone. going to be praying for all of you and we're so thankful that we're being able to touch your lives we're so thankful for what god has done in our lives but you can't stop here you've got to find out to tell all your friends that there's a god that can do anything they yes. need he can heal any sickness and he can take away any heartache and he'll give you exactly what you need so we will be praying for all the people who saw this night in Jesus' name. Thank you all for tuning in. I love that when you get the notification, you drop everything and you join me on here. And if you don't join me, you watch it later. I hope this has ministered to you today and you've enjoyed the music. God bless y'all. Have a blessed day and I will see you when I see you.